Good day, everyone. Uh, for today's uh, discussion, I'm going to point out the uh, mistakes no, uh, of the other videos that I posted. Um, uh, number one is about the product rule. So in one of our examples, I've noticed that there's some uh, mistake in the in the process. Okay, so I'm going to point that out here. Okay, so we're given this example, so I am going to repeat that part just to correct the uh, whatever mistake that uh, I have done during that uh, lecture. Okay, so I think we missed some part after this part here. So uh, what we did last time, uh, there's some... Something wrong now when you when we distribute this part here, this two, and multiply it to this one. So I was uh, multiplying the three with two x, but it should be the x. So it should be equal to two x times x cubed. So this would be two x to the fourth. So it's not six x as you can see in the previous or the other video. So it's not 6. So maybe at the time I was so sleepy already. So I mistakenly multiplied this part here to 3. But it's not. 2x should be multiplied by x cubed. Okay. So 2x times x cubed. That would be 2x to the fourth. Then this one. Uh, plus 2x times 3. So this is 6x. Then plus uh, this one here. Uh, this would be plus 3x to the fourth. Then this one. Then plus. So 3x squared times 5. So this should be 15. So. In other video class, I I think what I wrote here is only 5, but it should be 15. Now, if you have uh, seen the, the other video, so I made a mistake on this part. It should be uh, 15x squared, not uh, 5x squared. Okay, so our final answer here would be, so we have 2x to the fourth. So combining this term and this term, because they are similar, so both of them positive, so adding the two, so we have 5x five, five to the fourth power. Then rearranging, we have plus 15x, or 15x squared, plus 15x squared. Then plus 6x. So this is the correct answer class. Okay, so apologies for that uh, mistake. So I think I, I was already so sleepy at the time after one hour of lecture straight. I hope you forgive me on that. Okay, so that's the uh, correct answer. And the other one is I would like to point out also on the our, our topic on the chain rule okay so this is the part class that I also had committed uh, mistakes on uh, discussing this example of the uh, chain rule example okay so um, I would like to repeat this one actually this is the final answer class This is the final answer. So I, I wrote something above here just to explain it. But I think I made some mistake here. I forget something. All right. And also my notation was also not correct. So I have to correct it uh, in this video. Okay. So as I've mentioned before, so before we come to this, so we have um, we have this uh, symbol. This is not fag. It's uh, 
we have F, then small circle G. So it indicates a composite function, no? composite function of X, composite function of F and G of X. So what does it mean? So it means uh, this is equal to F sub a function of a function of X. So it's something like this class. So as discussed in other in our other video, so what we're going to do is we have to plug in. No? We have to plug in uh, this value of g sub x to the f of x. So we have to change x here with this because our f of f our f of g sub x or our function f of another function g sub x. So it means that we have to have this as our input to another function. So we have to replace x with this. Okay, so we have uh, 2x plus 5. And then this is our, this is our x here. We change x with this function of x and then raise to power. Okay, so this is our uh, F a small circle G, G. So it means this is a composite function of FMG of X. <clears throat> now, if we are going to take the derivative of this. So when you take the derivative of this, so it means uh, f sub, we have to apply the general power formula class. Okay, so f prime, f or the, the derivative of this composite function of x is equal to, so treat it as something... Uh, a power, no? We have a, a base here, two x plus five raised to the power three. So when you take the derivative of this, so you simply use the uh, general power rule. So we have three. So in the general power rule, so the exponent will go down, then multiply it to its base, which is two x two x plus five, and then this time you raise to uh, the rule is the rule says that this should be n minus 1 so this should be 2 and then multiplied by you have the derivative of this base so derivative of 2x is 2 then derivative of derivative of 5 which is constant is 0 so we have this derivative equal to so you have uh, 3 times 2, which is 6. Okay, 6 then multiplied by the quantity 2x plus 5. And then raise it to a power 2. So this is the thing that uh, we missed last time. So I forgot to put the exponent here. So that's why that's why what I did I just multiplied six to two x because I forgot to uh, put this one. Okay, so this is the final answer. Or if you want to expand you know, binomial expansion, you can expand this this part here uh, before you and then multiply by six. So you see, so this is the answer. All right so apologies for that class so i think the, so far uh, these are the corrections these are the things that need to be corrected no in my previous video so i hope uh, you have seen this already uh, and then make a 
unnecessary correction class so you just follow this video so when you read that uh, original video so you just uh, forego that part and then just uh, consider this okay now, thank you very much i hope you uh, give me an apology for that thank you very much have a nice day keep safe and stay healthy always god bless bye for now